go to universities you have to learn you have to study in that first three days i ate only maggie there are a lot of clinical practice that they will give you in russia i didn't study from my third year of mbbs and just you see because of three marks you are now in that failure batch g is a very exciting journey i could say that it was the biggest hurdle Hello everyone. I am Dr. Atithi Jaiswal. I am an MBBS graduate. I have done my MBBS studies from Tver State Medical University, Russia, and I am here to discuss all my hurdles to accomplishments that I faced in my entire MBBS journey in Russia. So if you want to select a college outside or you have to do MBBS abroad the first thing that you have to keep in mind is the MCI eligibility certificate the college has so you have to check or you have to put a tick that whether you are selecting the college is having an MCI registered certificate or not otherwise your degree won't be valid here in India so the first thing that you have to keep in mind is MCI eligibility certificate The next thing, the college should rank in the WHO ranking uh, website. So you have to keep in mind that whatever college or university you choose, uh, the college and university should be a high ranker in the WHO website, right? So uh, these are the few things that you have to keep in mind. And I would advise you that you should select college more than the country. It is not that tough to get in medical programs in Russia because you have a lot of agents nowadays which are in India and they guide you to get into the college in Russia. You just have to be careful if you are taking such kinds of agencies. You have to research the entire university on the website. You can also take the help of your seniors. Like in my case, I had a doctor who had already done MBBS from Russia from my university. So I got all the knowledge from him that how can I take admissions and what are the agents that i should choose and how is the college and what is the culture there so i got entire knowledge from him and then i paid my fees to the agent or university in terms of peer pressure you have that pressure right because everyone is doing mbbs nowadays so you have to do mbbs so likewise it was same in my case i also had to become an mbbs only i got admissions in bds or all the other streams here in india but my focus was that i need to get mbbs only so what i did is i forgot everything firstly uh, and i thought that whatever may be the hurdles i have to face them and i have to uh, come out of it with flying colors so the first hurdle is i didn't know anything to cook and you don't get any chef or like uh, house help around in russia you have to do it all yourself i didn't know how to cook so first three days i ate only maggi and i was surviving there so this was my first hurdle because food ke bina you cannot live right so this was my very first hurdle then secondly uh, the culture there see uh, it is a very different country they only speak russian sometimes so uh, my my state that is tver was 150 kilometers from moscow so people were friendly but uh, you know they don't speak english so you have to learn russian then also thirdly i had a uh, problem in the cold weather uh, because russia is very very cold it, it gets up to minus 30 degrees so in first year i was very uh, stressed because cold is also very depressing for me firstly and then you have to wear all their ten jackets and minus 30 is a very hot temperature to live in you have to go to universities you have to learn you have to study in that such uh, like low temperatures it was very difficult for me in my first years but later on um, i didn't give up like i said i decided that i had to not give up whatever may be i have to go there study and come back after 6 years i took my entire first year uh, to acquaintance with the weather so you can take some time you can uh, just relax don't just be in a hurry to come back to india uh, just relax take your time then uh, lastly the study pattern in russia is not that difficult so i would not say that was a hurdle for me uh, it was very easy uh, as compared to in india uh, but the study pattern also consists of daily test so it's very uh, good because you have to give a daily test right so in india it is not like that you have semester wise test or prof wise test but there you have to give daily test and the sum will be counted for your prof test so it was very good because you have you will learn and go every day so study pattern was absolutely no hurdle for me so i would not say that it was a hurdle it was very good and very easy 
सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द बजट ना आई हैव डन इट इन लाइक आई वॉज द बैच ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड टू थाउजेंड टू टू थाउजेंड एटीन सो दैट वॉज सिक्स ईयर्स इन टोटल सो माई बजट वेन आई वेंट फ्रॉम यूर आई हैड टू पे इलेवन लैख रुपीज बट ऑन एन एवरेज इफ यू सी फॉर अराउंड सिक्स ईयर्स बिकॉज लिविंग एक्सपेंडिचर इज ऑल्सो बींग कंसिडर्ड इन दैट सो आई पेड अराउंड थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव लैक्स इन टोटल फॉर सिक्स ईयर्स बट एज यू नो द यूरो प्राइजेस चेंजेस सो एवरी टाइम द फीस विल ऑल्सो चेंज ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी देर इज डिफरेंट अकेडेमिक फीस देर इज डिफरेंट हॉस्टल फीस देर इज डिफरेंट लाइक वेरी लाइक दे चार्ज यू फॉर मल्टीपल टाइप्स ऑफ फीस सो यू हैव टू पे एवरी थिंग एंड ऑल्सो द फूड यू हैव टू बाई इट योर सेल्फ दे डोंट लाइक गिव एनी थिंग देर इज नो मेस फैसिलिटी देर इज नो हॉस्टल लाइक फैसिलिटी यू हैव टू जस्ट सर्च एवरी थिंग ऑन योर ओन so now when i'm back in uh, like india the difference i notice amongst the mbba students in india and me myself because i have done it from russia so fmg and indian students have no such difference firstly whatever prof subjects are there in india similar prof subjects are there in russia also so fmg and indian subjects are similar so don't worry that you will be going to abroad and you will not get the hold of indian subjects it's not like that uh, only thing is that uh, there are lot of clinical practice that they will give you in russia more than in india that's what i felt because we had a lot of dummy classes and uh, we we learned everything so perfectly and so like minutely that i would rather say because in india what happens it's like everyone is rushing to that own lecture class and all that we used to have lectures in russia also but we used to have more of a practical class or a dummy class where teachers used to explain us each and everything uh, on the dummy so it was very easy to practice also and to learn also so together we used to do all these things and uh, study pattern doesn't vary whatever subjects are there in india are similar in russia also so you have to study all that 19 subjects for the entire year 6 years so study pattern is not varying so fmg is a very exciting journey i could say that it was the biggest hurdle in any of the mbbs going student like in any of the mbbs going abroad student because fmg they have to clear in order to get their registration in india so if you want to come back to india and practice in india you have to clear fmg exam and fmg exam i would tell you it's not that easy you don't have to take it as a joke what most people do is they consider like not studying like i also did the same i didn't study from my third year of mbbs i came here after 6 years then 6 months ka duration mein i studied but that is not enough i cleared my fmg in second attempt so in my first attempt i was very like i got 147 marks i was only short by 3 marks so it was very heart hurting for me uh, because you cannot just see so like you are you are very near to your success and just you see because of 3 marks you are now in that failure batch right so everyone of your relatives your family members everyone will start blaming you so uh, you have to be strong again i said that you have to be strong here also uh, you can clear fmg in very first attempt itself it's not uh, that difficult that you cannot clear only the thing is you have to start to study early like you have to start your studies from third year of your mbbs in russia also so so that you get three complete years to study all your standard test books all your notes you can revise multiple times and then when you come to india after your degree completion you can just clear fmg in very first attempt itself then in the second attempt i fixed my goal that i have to be in one of the interviews in any of the platforms be it prep ladder be it maro be it dance be it um, any of the mist be it any coaching classes so i thought that that i will make this goal that i have to come in any of this interviews which toppers give so i studied thoroughly in my in that entire 6 months i didn't even watch the sun i was just locked in one room and i used to study day and night and i aced the exam in fmg 2019 and i got the score of 207 marks and i was the university topper in, in tver state medical university russia then obviously when you are a topper and you score such high marks in fmg you are you will be called by multiple platforms for interviews and then everyone took my interviews and i was i was on the cloud 9th so you can feel the same so i just want to advise that you can have a lot of practice multiple revisions and keep like the pace of studying from third year of your mbbs coaching 
I prepared yes for NEET PG. The very next year I gave NEET PG. It helped me very much because M SMG exam consists of the 60% portion that you have to study for NEET. So subjects remain the same. They are all 19 subjects and you have to study all of them together. So the subjects which I studied from FMG was the same 19 subjects, only the portion was limited, right? So what, what you uh, can do is you can prepare that 60% from the FMG exam and the rest 40% will be taken care of in the NEET PG exam. So you only have to prepare more 40% if you have given the FMG exam previously. So it was a very blessing that I went to Russia, I had to give FMG exam, so I prepared too much and then NEET PG was very easy for me. Uh, advice would be you have to stay strong firstly because you don't get any family support when you go to Russia you have to stay strong and uh, don't give heart if you even fail in any of the exams be it FMG be it your university exam it's okay everyone gets a second chance and it's not that your life will stop so be strong and uh, you will clear the exam only I want to give an advice that if someone goes outside country you always have that uh, thing that Abhi to bahar aage, so we can nicely enjoy enjoy the entire country and we can roam and we'll waste time uh, and bunk classes uh, I would advise not to do that be little serious in your studies you can enjoy plus study so you have to do both the things together so that you can come when you come back to India you you will become like an independent and uh, such a great personality that your family members and all around you will be considering you uh, to be very good doctor right No, 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 never. I am so glad and I'm so blessed that my parents supported me in all my decisions that I had taken and uh, I will never choose that I, I don't want to go to Russia. I will always choose yes I want to go abroad and study. I have become such a brave and independent girl when I came back from Russia because whole six years have changed my personality so um, differently that I, even I can't explain. Uh, so many hurdles I have faced it's not that life was very easy. Even I faced failures but uh, the personality that I've come up with after that is very different and my family is like she has become very bold and out there I was an introvert person you won't believe this I was very introvert but then when I, I went to Russia and I had to do each and everything myself I realized that no you have to become bold in this competitive world otherwise no one will consider you so I have become very bold very independent I have this different personality and my friends around there everyone like have uh, to say this about me that she is very bold and only Russia has given me that boldness so I will never revisit I will advise you that please if you are an UG student and you want to do MBBS and you're not getting chance in India please don't waste your time in sitting in India and just giving multiple attempts of NEET UG it won't suffice you can take this option of MBBS abroad you can easily study there and you can come back to India and you can easily clear FMG exam and your value will be as same as the Indian doctors so thank you so much for tuning in in this session and listening and hearing me out uh, thank you so much and if you like this please hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon right next to it and we'll see you in our next one bye bye